if you have been with that man for seven years and you need him to propose tonight, you're wearing her. When there's snow touching the ground, then you bring her out and not before. Okay, it smells luxury. It's giving rich auntie. It's giving, I don't work at this company. I am the company. <laughs> Hi dolls and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're back with another video this week. Um, a little bit of a different format. Um, we're going to be sitting down and chatting. I know that's different from the vlogs that I normally post, but don't worry. We will be back with another vlog next week. But this week we're talking about something that I love to talk about, fragrances. Um, and my most complimented fragrances of this year and of the like fall winter season. Now I've been into fragrances for about as long as I can remember. I remember like sneaking into my mom's collection when I was a little girl and trying on some of her stuff. And you know, my mom and my grandma and my aunts all bought me some of my first fragrances. Um, but for the most part, like I wasn't like into it how I am now when I was in high school and college. Like I was very much into the Love Spell, Victoria's Secret, um, the Japanese Cherry Blossom, Cucumber Melon from Bath and Body Works. Uh, if you know, you know, you know all the it girls, that's what we we're wearing back in the day, okay? Maybe I'm aging myself, but um, you know, that was pretty much it. And it wasn't until I graduated college um, and got like my first real big girl job and started to make a little bit more money that I decided that I really wanted to invest in my fragrances. I wanted to find a signature scent um, and I wanted more luxury fragrances. One, because that was like the way for me to kind of dip my toe into the luxury world um, before spending a lot of money. So you get the perfume, then maybe the bag and the shoes and that's what I ended up doing. But more than that, um, I just wanted some fragrances that were a little bit more complex, um, that had a little bit more staying power, um, and that really made an impression. And I feel like through some trial and error, um, I have found a good collection. And so the ones that I want to talk about today aren't all like my favorite. I definitely have some favorites in here, um, but they are the ones that hands down, you guys, I get the most compliments on. Like people will like stop in their tracks, come walk behind me, ask me what I'm wearing, like how they can find it, where they can buy it. Um, and since we're approaching the holiday season, Black Friday, Christmas, all of that, and brands are starting to have their gift sets, or if you're wanting to purchase something new for yourself to go into the new year, or for someone that you love or care about, I figured this might help. So let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so this first one that I wanna talk about is Prada Candy, and don't judge me, you guys. Some of these are like almost empty, but that's because that's how much I use them. Now, this is like my everyday scent. It smells so good. It is a gourmand scent, and that basically means it's like sweeter, almost kind of like um, a dessert type scent. Um, but yeah, this is Prada Candy. I like this. This one, um, <clears throat> I think it's very sweet and flirty and fun. Um, I like to wear it every day for like running errands, um, just running out and about around town. I would wear it to brunch um, if you're going to meet your boyfriend's family or going to a family Thanksgiving meal. This is the kind of scent I would wear for that. Um, <clears throat> I feel like it's a daytime scent. It smells very like vanilla, chocolatey, sweet, a little innocent. Um, and I just feel like it's the perfect scent for, uh, you know, you do your entire shower, skincare routine, you put on your matching set, you're gonna go do your hot girl walk, you're gonna go get coffee, um, you're gonna go to the mall, you're gonna do your Target, Starbucks, Home Goods, you know, little run, you put this on, okay? Um, so yeah, I really like it. It's been my everyday scent for a while. Like this is what I'd wear on Easter. Like it's just giving very like flirty, fun, sweet, innocent vibes, um, but it smells really good. Um, very chocolatey, vanilla. Again, it's a gourmand scent, which just means that um, 
it smells really like a dessert, I guess, but it's like a grown woman scent. Like it's not too sugary. It doesn't give cotton candy or anything like that. It's like grown woman sweet, which is what I like because that can be really hard to find. Um, and I've gotten so many compliments on this. I always get the biggest bottles in my fragrances because I am a heavy sprayer and I just feel like if something's $80 versus like $110 or $20, I'd rather just pay the extra money and get the bigger bottle that's going to last me longer because in my mind, I think I'm saving money as opposed to getting the smaller one and having to buy it more times. I don't know if the math checks out on that, but it's what I tell myself. So um, for the big bottle of the Prada candy here, it will cost you on Ulta $134. And then here they have the notes, the fragrance family, it's warm and spicy and gourmand, like I mentioned, a gourmand scent. Um, some of the keynotes are white musk and um, they say it has an addictive touch of caramel. Um, and warm and sweet vanilla. So yes, and something else I should mention that I recently realized when I was preparing for this video and kind of looking over all my perfumes is a lot of them are warm and spicy like heated florals. Um, those just work really well with my body chemistry and I like the way they smell and how they smell on me and that's what gets me the most compliments. So um, if some of these don't work for you, that's okay. Everybody's body chemistry, like everyone has a different makeup. Um, but yeah, this is just what works for me. And one more thing I wanted to say about the Prada candy is just because I use it as a daytime scent and I think that's what the fragrance works best for. Like I know girls that use it for a nighttime scent, like you can do whatever you're comfortable with, but I will note that Prada candy has a Prada candy night version that is like specifically for nighttime. I'm guessing because maybe they also thought this was a daytime scent. Um, so I haven't tried the night. I think I smelled it a while ago. I'm not really remembering too much about it, but they have a night version if you do just want to use the Prada candy, the original during the day, which is what I do. Um, but it has great staying power. This is also what I like to use as my fragrance when I am getting out of the shower at night. Um, yes, I wear fragrance to go to bed. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't, okay? Um, but yeah, so this is also a fragrance that I often wear to bed. Cause you just like, you come out of the shower, you got your nice robe on, you put your fragrance on and you go to bed. And, um, I mean, the staying power is just incredible. Like I love waking up, especially like in your fresh sheets and comforter and you wake up and you can still smell it like all over you. You can still smell it like in your comforter and it's just a great way to like go to bed and to wake up. So yes, I love the scent. Okay, baby, this next one, top two, not two, okay? It's not, first of all, look at the bottle. Look at the bottle. Look at this bottle. Um, you already know it smells good just looking at the presentation, okay? Like, let's be so for real right now. Um, so this is none other than Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Um, you guys have probably seen this bottle maybe on TikTok or something. I feel like because of the bottle, it trends sometimes. Listen. This girl, I like to call her the finisher because she's gonna get the job done by any means necessary, okay? Like, she is kicking and taking names, okay? When I tell you the way this sit breaks necks, listen, listen, if you need to close a deal within the next 20 minutes, you're wearing her. If you have been with that man for seven years and you need him to propose tonight, you're wearing her. Okay, like, let me just be very clear, okay? She is going to get the job done. The way I imagine this scent, it's giving very much, you're in Miami, it's like 11 p.m. at night, you're in a drop top, the windows are down, you're cruising on the highway, you're passing the skyline, and the lights are sparkling and it's reflecting off of the water and the wind's blowing in your hair and you just smell like coconut island vibes around you. And it just, it gives very much Miami nights. 
every time I'm, I'm in Miami, I'm wearing Good Girl. Um, this past time I was in Miami, I was wearing Good Girl, and I ended up in a Lamborghini. Maybe the two aren't related, <laughs> but like, I feel like that's what you should be wearing in that kind of a scenario. Um, it is just, you guys, this is the definition of a sexy sit. It is sexy, sophisticated, sultry, mysterious. It's giving very much man-eater vibes. Um, she is just that girl. Like, if you want to break necks, I mean, kill them, and your stilettos, wear this sit. Now, let me, um, I'm like getting carried away. Um, what is he? I can't even. Anyways, so the fragrance family is floral. The keynotes are jasmine, tuberose crystal, velvet almond. So the top note is the jasmine and tuberose crystal. Middle is velvet almond. The base is tonka bean, cocoa, and coffee bean. Um, the description says this is the ultimate femme fatale fragrance with sensual jasmine and the seductive tonka bean. It's so good to be bad. Listen, with the description like that, what are you waiting for? What else do you need to hear? What, like, where's the hesitation? You need this in your life. Um, I would say this scent is probably the one I get the most compliments on in general, hands down. Um, I think this is a 100% nighttime scent. I don't think I have ever worn this during the day. It is very sexy. Um, I have also never worn it to the office. I just personally would not. I wear this if I'm going out to a nice dinner date, if you know I'm going out of town. I wear it all the time in Miami. Um, <clears throat> So let's get into, so this is the 5.0 ounce bottle and it is $175 on Ulta's website. Um, and then also you guys, I should also note all of these fragrances, they are the Ide Parfum version. I don't buy the toilet except for in one because the scent is different in one fragrance, which I'll talk about when I get to that one. But I always get the perfume and not the toilet or however you say it, because it has more staying power, it's more bold, you get more of the scent, you get more of the staying power. So if you do try these, make sure you're getting the perfume version, okay? It's a little pricier, but the payoff is worth it um, in my mind, so. Yeah, so that's um, the good girl. And then I guess I'll also show you guys the travel size of it because I have that one and that's the one that I take with me to travel. The only bad thing about it with the good girl is their travel ones are rollerball, which I hate because I need to overload spray. So when I do take the rollerball, when I travel, I take another scent that I can spray that complements it. Um, the staying power for this one, it's not the... It's not the greatest. Like there are some in here where I could smell that on me forever. This one, you have to be a bit heavy handed. And even then I feel like um, the staying power is just okay. Like I've never felt like I've woken up and like still smelled it on me, I guess. But um, it's just really good, you guys. Like it is really good and I highly recommend it. Okay, so for the travel size, um, it just comes like this, and it says, good girl, hold on, it says, good girl, and then on the back, it says, it's so good to be bad, listen, they are not messing around, like, it's giving very much promiscuous girl, like, mysterious, like, sexy vibes, I love it, um, the, the travel size, this is how big it is, it's, um, a rollerball, it costs $30, okay, <laughs> Um, and then this is what it looks like out of the bottle. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, it's so good, you guys. Please get this. And then, you know, if you don't want to take the plunge and spend like $200 on a big bottle and you don't know if this works with your chemistry makeup, you don't know if you really like it, 
go get one of these travel sizes. It's $30. Now, again, um, this is a roller ball, so it's going to be harder to kind of get it all over. But, you know, it's a great way to, oh my god, it's so good to try it out, you guys. Um, she's like my secret weapon. Like, if I know I need to make an impression, if I know I want to slice necks open tonight, I bust her out, okay? She's never too far from the situation. Oh, oh my, oh my god. Woo! They were not playing when they made this. Okay, let's say you're trying to get out on the town, okay? And you need to make the impression tonight. You need him to sign on the dotted line. Now? Rent's due now, not later? That's all I'm gonna say. Ladies, are you hearing me though? Okay, thank you. A good girl also has, so the one that I showed you guys is just the good girl, um, the original scent. There are like seven different, <laughs> I swear, versions of this. They have like Good Girl Supreme, Very Good Girl. I think there's like a bad boy or bad something in there. They've got a red one, a pink one, a sparkly one. I have tried some of them. I think there was one that I liked, I, that I liked besides the original, maybe the red one, I can't remember. Start with the original and then work your way to the others, okay? Uh, she's the blueprint. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And you guys, I know we're moving on to the next set, um, but literally like you saw, I just sprayed that and my man just sent me some money. Like, and I didn't say anything to him. It's like, he just knew I had just sprayed that on. Ladies, go get it, okay? All right, um, moving on. This next one, you guys, I wanted to gatekeep a little bit um, because she's so good and she's my signature scent. And it's my absolute number one favorite fragrance of all time. Um, and I just love her so much, but she's too good to just keep to myself. So I'll, sh oh, ah, I'll share her. Okay, you guys. So this is YSL Libre. Look, I need to like order another one, um, but it's okay. Cause we've got everybody doing their little sales right now but anyways um <clears throat> this is YSL Libre um it's from Saint Laurent my favorite brand and this was the first ever fragrance you guys like luxury fragrance I ever purchased and um funny story quick backstory I like I told you at the beginning of this video I knew I wanted to get into luxury fragrances. I knew I wanted a signature scent. I knew I wanted to start to dabble a little bit in the luxury world. Um, Saint Laurent, I knew was my favorite brand. I didn't have anything from them at the time, but just like seeing their stuff online and on their website, their style, like the way they presented themselves as a brand, everything just screamed like timeless and edgy and cool and like, uh, a quiet confidence and really stylish and edgy and high fashion and I just loved everything about it and I loved the the blacks and the silvers and I just loved the brand. I knew they were my favorite brand and when I got into lu the luxury world that I would start with them. So when I decided to buy a luxury fragrance for the first time, I immediately went to their website. Um, I didn't know anything about fragrances. I didn't know anything about fragrance families. I didn't know anything about notes. I didn't know what really worked well with my body in that kind of space um and i blind bought the the first time i got this i blind bought it you guys i didn't know anything about it besides the name i didn't even read the description i just went on their website and i saw the bottle i thought the bottle was so cute and i bought it and i just knew because i know myself and I know what I'm into and I trusted myself and my taste and I trusted Saint Laurent and it didn't steer me wrong. When I pulled that package, the perfume out of the package, that was my first time smelling it. And when I tell you I sat there like this, doing that for like five minutes straight, I could not believe how good it smelled. To this day, it still gags me. It smells like rich. Okay, it smells luxury, it's giving rich auntie, it's giving, I don't work at this company, I am the company, okay? Like, she is just that girl. This is my signature scent. This is leaving a lasting impression. 
I cannot go anywhere in this without someone stopping me. And it just gives very much like, I'm gonna walk into this bar and I know exactly what I'm gonna order and this is my long like drink and here's my fabulous bag and I just got here for my big corporate job and it just gives like, you were meant for this world. Does that make sense? Like the ultimate like boss B, right? Um, so yeah, oh, let me show you guys the, or tell you guys a little bit more. What is this? Sorry, you guys, I'm getting some crazy messages. Um, okay, so the big bottle will cost you $180 on St. Laurent, St. Laurent's website. Um, and they say this is a floral fragrance with lavender, orange blossom, and musk. Um, what else do they say about it? A statement feminine fragrance for those who live by their own rules. I love that. A bold and floral perfume for women. A celebration of freedom. This daring yet distinctly floral and feminine perfume is for those who do what they want, when they want, and dare to be exactly who they are. Breaking boundaries and paving their own way, this women's perfume is inspired by the bold and the free. Oh my gosh, that is the perfect, I can't believe I've never read that before. That is the perfect description for this scent. And for me, maybe that's, listen, they know what they're doing, okay? That spoke to me. This fragrance speaks to me. Um, and I also love it for special occasions. Like if there's anything big going on in my life, I wear this. If you guys watched a few vlogs ago when I was accepting my dream job as an evening news anchor and when I went out to dinner to celebrate that and I was signing my contracts, um, I was wearing this scent, the Libre. I wear it on my birthday. Um, any important moment or occasion in my life, this is my scent. I will probably wear it on my wedding. Um, it's a nighttime scent. In my opinion, I wouldn't really wear this during the day. It's just so like bold and complex and layered and it's just giving very much nighttime. But girl, if you want to wear it during the day, do you. Now, I know some people really, really hate this scent. I know, I know, I know, I know it. Um, some people think, it, think that it gives grandma and a little powdery. I personally do not believe that. I think it gives spicy. I think it gives luxury rich. Um, and this is one that um, you can layer really nicely as well. But I understand that this is not some people's cup of tea. Um, so you might want to test it out before you buy. It's my signature scent. It's gonna be my signature scent forever. And I think that you can engrave these bottles if I'm not mistaken. So I think that's a really nice touch also. Like if you do wear it for your wedding day, you can like engrave it and then just bring it out like once a year on your anniversary or something like that is pretty cool. Um, what was I gonna say about it? The staying power. This one out of my entire collection probably has the best staying power out of everyone. You put this on, like, it's not going anywhere for like a week. It's like, it's not going anywhere. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so good. Like when you first spray it on, it's good, but the dry down, immaculate. Mm. <sighs> not me mixing all of these, okay. So yes, um, get that if, if that's what you want to do. Um, but yeah, now you guys know my signature fragrance. It's the cat's out of the bag, okay? All right, moving on. Woo oh, also the, the Saint Laurent, the YSL Libre, like I would wear that if I was going to like a showing at Saks or something also. Like it is just giving rich energy, okay? Like, um, if you're wanting to be that corporate rich boss bee, if you're wanting to be like the Range Rover driving, like housewife mom type vibe, Pilates mom vibe, like it covers all the bases, okay? It's giving luxurious, 25, seven, okay. Okay, moving on. So this next scent is actually pretty full in this bottle because I just re-upped. Um, this is Valentino's Born in Roma and I am pleasantly surprised by how much I actually like this one. This is another one that I would probably 
just keep to night, but sometimes I do wear it during the day. This is one that I actually think you have a little bit more flexibility with to go back and forth. I was pleasantly surprised by her. She is very bold. She gives like main character energy, like very confident. Uh, it's just got like a big like personality coming out of the bottle. It's a little sweet, a little spicy. Um, it smells like there's some florals in there. Um, it just, it smells so good, you guys. Oh, it's so good. Um, and this also has really good staying power. This one surprised me because um, I didn't know how good the staying power was because I remember wearing it one day and it had gotten to the point where I wasn't smelling it on myself anymore and it had been several hours since I stopped smelling it on myself. But then someone passed me and they're like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? Like, you smell so good. And I'm like, you can smell that really still? And this was hours after I put it on. So I'm like, okay, like, you might got a little situation going on. This one really surprised me. Um, why is this not focusing? This is the bottle. Um, and I like the texture on the bottle. It's like very fun. But yeah, this is just another good one for your collection. I get tons of compliments on this, you guys. Um, so let's just read the description for you so you can get some more information. Okay, here we go. The fragrance family is floral. The scent type is warm floral. So it doesn't surprise me that that's why I like it and it works well with my body chemistry because I know that I am a warm floral girl. Um, most of these are warm floral. So that's why it's really important to know uh, what scent and like fragrance family and all of that works with your body chemistry too. You can even take classes on it. It's a whole thing. Anyways, so it's a warm floral. Uh, the keynotes are jasmine. There's bourbon vanilla. Um, what else? Where's the like? Oh, and for this big bottle, it was $138 from Sephora. Um, and then you can get it cheaper for $131 if you do the like auto replenish with it. Um, let me see if it has a description for it like the other ones. I don't, I don't see a description for this one. Okay, I found the description. It says, this is a warm floral fragrance inspired by Roman street style and edgy couture. It's a trio of jasmine flowers and warm vanilla and rich woods to create a scent that captures the essence of modern femininity. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh wait, there's more. Um, have the fashion house come to life. Da -da -da. Beautiful studded bottle, contrast with edgy design inspired by Roman architecture. Okay, cool. So I guess that's why the bottle looks like that. Um, yeah, so I mean, I feel like that matches the perfume. Um, yeah, I really like this one. Um, definitely get a ton of compliments on it. Perfect for fall and winter and that little transition period also because it's like very thick and it's got layers and complexity to it. So I definitely recommend it. Okay, moving on. Okay, you guys, um, so I mentioned my signature scent for like my personal life and like nightlife and big occasions and stuff like that, which was the Yves Saint Laurent YSL Libre. Now I'm gonna talk about my, sign my signature scent for work and the professional atmosphere, which is this bad boy right here, Chance by Chanel. Um, so good, you guys, it, Oh, it smells so good. It just smells very like clean and professional, but it's got a slight little edge under there too. Like it's giving corporate, but corporate baddie. You feel me? Um, so oh, I, if you guys watched my um, previous vlogs and you saw when I talked in depth about getting um, the Chance by Chanel, <clears throat> It's really good. It is for the big bottle, which is 3.4 ounces. It is $125 on Chanel's website. This was the one that I mentioned when I said all of mine are perfumes, so they're higher, higher concentrated. This is the only one I get in the toilet because I got the perfume first and it, was, it didn't smell right. It's the toilet to get the smell that you want. Um, so this one says 
unpredictable and in movement. The unexpected floral fragrance sweeps you into a whirlwind of happiness and fantasy, a chance encounter. They are slaying on these descriptions. And the fact that all of these are accurate, I am gagging. Like I would tell you if there was one where I'm like, it's not giving that. It's giving exactly what it says it, it gives. So that's good. It's just very like clean. It's got a little spice. Like it is very professional, but like, um, has like a little bit of you in it, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> it's very clean, mm, but it has a little extra kick. Like you can definitely wear this to a meeting and it still be appropriate, but still like have everyone wondering like, what was that you were wearing? And actually one of my coworkers um, did ask me, like followed me from the dressing room to my desk to ask me about that. <sighs> it's so good, I keep smelling it. This is one that is truly buildable, okay? So um, you can spray as little or as much as you want. Um, you can layer it, it layers great with a lot of different fragrances. Um, <clears throat> you can dress it up or down, you can wear it during the day. At night, you can wear it to in almost any occasion and it, it be appropriate. I have worn this to work meetings, I have worn this in Miami, I have worn this in all kinds of different scenarios and gotten compliments in all different settings. Um, now I, this is my signature for work, so this is really the only perfume that I wear to work, um, but I have worn it out other places once in a while too. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one, highly recommend. And yeah, so that's that. No, wait, there's more. If you guys are getting this Chance by Chanel, pay attention, you guys. They've got like seven different versions of this and at least like three or four of them all look the same. I'm talking about similar colors, everything. And a few times I have ordered the wrong one because they've got like a pink version, I think like a green and blue. They've got like three different yellow ones, you guys, I swear, a gold one. And I had ordered the wrong one. Now, this, the one that I get, the yellow one, is it's giving like young, fun, like corporate girly. The pink one is giving grandma, it's giving powdery. So if you hear someone say that about this fragrance, they might have just purchased the wrong one. And some of the other yellow ones give that also. So you have to, have to get the right one. And it's so hard. Like I spend so much time when I order these online trying to pick the right one because they don't all have different names. So sometimes you are literally playing a game of chance, <laughs> trying to get your right scent. But I will link all of these for you guys down below so you can get the right one. But listen, like I have done that before and opened the box and I'm like, this doesn't smell like right. And the only reason I knew that is because I wear this like every day. So I know what it's supposed to smell like by now. But if you're buying this for the first time, I don't want you guys to buy it and be like, what is this? It's old, it's powdery, it's nasty, because some of them are, but this one isn't. This one's sexy, sophisticated, professional. So just make sure you get the right one, you guys. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. My camera died, but we are back in action. To finish off the Chance Chanel uh, description, they also said, I saw an opportunity and I took it. Gabrielle Chanel knew that her real chance was the one of her own creation, a state of mind, a way of being. Okay, and then it says it has pink pepper, jasmine, amber, and that they all intertwine for an elusive, ever-changing scent and floral, spicy, sensual, and gourmand. I think this was a gourmand scent. Oh, well, you know, maybe I can smell a little bit of it back there. Oh, okay. Okay, well there we go. Got a little splash of gourmand in there. Okay, cool. Okay. So now I want to talk about this Narciso Rodriguez scent. Okay, this was probably one of the first fragrances I ever got like back in the day from my aunts who have very much like rich auntie energy. And I feel like this was just like the oh it's so good this was like the it girl scent for like the 90s it girls i really feel like that like um but yeah i feel like this was like the first one i ever got like as a higher end fragrance from my aunt and they never do me wrong like ever um mm, it is so good this one again i would say is a <clears throat> nighttime scent it's a lot heavier it's very very a very heavy weighted scent, you guys, but it's 
so good oh it's so good and this one also gives me similar vibes to the libre not in the smell but in the it's giving glamorous like old hollywood um like luxurious rich vibes this one in particular is more old hollywood the libre i feel like is a little bit more new money <laughs> But this one is old money, old Hollywood glamour. Like picture yourself in the middle of New York City, in the middle of winter, like you've got your big fur coat on, you go into your, you know, bar, there's a woman dancing, performing on a stage, you have a little cigar, you put your coat back on, you go back into the blizzard of the night. Like it's very, it's giving that for some reason. Like my descriptions are cracking me up. You guys are probably like, that doesn't tell me anything about this scent, Imani. <laughs> I'm just like creating like personas <laughs> based on what fragrance I wear. Mm, it's so good. Now, if I ever had a fragrance that was a little grandma -y, a little powdery, it would be this one. It would be, it would be this one. I, it, it had to grow on me a little bit. I, the first time I sprayed it, I was like, this is too powdery. It's too... You know, but as someone who thinks of themselves as young and turnt, I love this scent. Like, it has really grown on me. And anytime I wear it, I do get a lot of compliments on it. And I really, really like it. Um, <clears throat> I bring it out every once in a while for that extra wow factor in the heat of the night. You feel me? Um, so about this one on Macy's, this size bottle, this is a three ounce bottle. The biggest bottle is... $122, but they have some kind of sale going on right now and you can get it for $103 and 70 cents. Um, let's read the description. It says it is, um, let's see, blah, 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 feminine fragrance. It's irresistible blend creates an addictive and elegant fragrance that fascinates. Ooh, la, la. Okay. Um, a blend of sensual woods, Bulgarian rose, and white jasmine surround a heart of musk. Okay. So that is that one. Again, you can wear any of these how you so choose. If I had one where I was like, you guys, please do not wear this during the day. Wear this at night. This one. Because it's just so heavy. I mean, I, I mean, I guess you could wear it during the day if that's what you want to do. I just, I never have. Okay, um, so that's really it for my luxury fragrances that are most complimented during the fall and winter. Um, <clears throat> like this is for sure, like some of these are like transition, like you can do fall, you can transition them into winter. Um, you have a little bit more like flexibility or room with some of these. This one, in my opinion, is strictly winter. When there's snow touching the ground, then you bring her out and not before okay um so i'm gonna talk about one more and then i think that's it okay okay you guys last but certainly not least is this little it looks like a genie bottle this is fantasy by britney spears now um i normally wouldn't include this because i know we're talking about like luxury fragrances um and you're like imani that's not a luxury fragrance um listen to me it's Britney Spears, and she's the original It Girl, and I feel like we can put her in that category, okay? So it's Fantasy by Britney Spears, mm, but I can still smell it. It smells so freaking good. Quick backstory, um, when I was in high school, so you know I talked about the body splashes that I used, that everyone used. Um, there was like a lady on the side of the road. She was selling, <laughs> she was selling a Fantasy by Britney Spears, and I, I bought it like on a whim. And when I tell you I smelled that and it was the best thing I ever smelled, I was stuck, okay? And if I were to have like a signature scent of high school, I guess it would be that. Um, I guess it's not considered like luxury because I don't know what, because it's not like a designer label or something, but it smells really good to me, always has over the years. Nothing has changed about it, which I love. You can get this at Walmart, you guys. It's I have it pulled up here. So the big bottle, <laughs> um, which is, this is the big bottle size. It's a 3.3 ounce. You can get it for $27.70 at Walmart. Um, well, I guess you can't get it right now since it's out of stock, but maybe you can get one of the smaller bottles. 
yeah, it looks like the smaller bottles are in stock. It's it's $20. Um, it smells really good. Like this, now this one does give a little adolescence. It gives young a little bit. It gives a little sugary candy vibes. Um, night out in Vegas. This, for us now, that are in our, <laughs> you know, mid-twenties, are living our, like, grown and sexy, this is now for <laughs> night in Vegas. It's strong, still. But yeah, that was, like, my favorite scent for a long, long time. She is still that girl, and because this isn't just this is about luxury fragrances, but because this is also about my most complimented fragrances, I have to include her um, because I get compliments on her still when I wear her. She just, um, and it's a surprise too, but you know what? If you didn't know, Britney Spears is one of my favorite like pop stars. I've loved her, like love, love, loved her since I was a kid. So I should have known she wasn't gonna do me wrong on the fragrance. Um, <clears throat> I'm on Walmart's website right now to see if they have any notes about it. Oh. So, Fantasy by Britney Spears is the second of her perfume line. Launched in 2005. Okay, for the 2000s girlies. Um, as a fun scent, this feminine scent has a blend of red lychee, kiwi, cupcake, jasmine, white chocolate, musk, and orris root. Fantasy is recommended for daytime wear. Girl... It smells a little like I wear it to the nightclub in Vegas is what I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> um, so I don't know about that daytime wear part. Um, I mean, I wore it during the day in high school, but again, because it is a younger scent and it's like very like sugary and very wear it to the nightclub in Vegas. Um, so I guess it's a bit of a gourmand too. So that's cool. I didn't know that about this one. Okay, cool. Well, that concludes um, this fragrance review on my most complimented fragrances of the year and the best ones for fall and winter. Um, if you liked this video, if you like this format of video, let me know down below. I'm trying to diversify my content on here a little bit more and offer you guys more than just my normal vlogs, which those will continue as well. So let me know if you like this video, if you wanna see more videos like this, if you want me to talk about what my like top five all-time favorite, like all-star fragrances are um, or anything, or if you want me to talk more about like the technical side behind choosing a fragrance and like how to figure out what your fragrance house is and your fragrance family and your body chemistry and more about like um the different fragrance houses and like what gourmand is and like things like that like the more technical aspect behind choosing fragrances before you buy let me know um if that will help you when you're going to purchase i can do something on that also really quickly um if you just want more education about this like while you're scrolling your phone casually on your own time there is a facebook group you know i keep a good face facebook group about me um it's called sis you smell good and it's just a bunch of women we share um, reviews, what we love, what we hate, what are some good dupes, because if you can't afford any of these, but maybe you want something that smells similar. I know Zara sometimes has good dupes that smell like some of the more expensive fragrances for like half the price. So people will write about that in there um, when new releases are out, when there's a good fragrance sale going on. So join that group also. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances, what your favorite fragrance is or your signature fragrance and what you want to see next. Okay, bye dolls.